It is the final morning of the FLW Costa Series Championship. And we're still fishing. Travis Manson, his, uh, oh, you got him. I got him. You got him, his little thingies that keep his motor from moving. We're, uh, we're frozen on. That right there. Hopefully gets the job done. Have an FLW live camera. I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know if I'll be able to open up my rod boxes. It's that cold. Also have to stop by Walmart for some hot hands. And we both need Advil. Everything's frozen. Well, it is past nine o'clock, and uh, we're in a fog delay still. All right, here we go. Nine forty-eight. Well, three and a half, four hours. Alright, after the fog delay, we finally got down here. It is 10.54 a.m., 11. We have to start heading back around 2.30. That gives us three and a half hours on the final day of the Coaster Championship to put together a 15-pound bag. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Net his, net him, net him. Boom! Yes! Oh my gosh. Wow! That's the biggest one I've caught all week right there. That's a four and a half. Holy cow. Good. Now you get one. Wow! 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 I gotta breathe, I gotta remember to breathe here. Look how pretty that fish is. That looks like a northern fish. I told you, this is a stretch right here. There's something about this stretch. That's five coming off of it. Did I get through that whole segment without a curse word? Here. I'll do some stuff on the way out. Let's, uh, let's idle over that. Cut. Yeah, I'm just gonna idle over to this cut over here. Okay, I got through two. Here he comes. Get him in. Get him in the net, please. Get him in. No, no, no. You got him. Yes. Oh, no. oh the smallies came back. The smallies came back. That's another three and a half. Like it's two fish, but I mean, let's get real here. That's two pretty cool fish. All right, let's just take three deep breaths. I found this spot throwing a whopper flopper down the bank on the first day of practice. And this thing was like out in the middle. And I go back around here and then it was pushed to the side and I go over it and I'm like, what the heck is that thing? 
and I drop down, it's just like boom, boom, boom. And I've caught one every single day off of this stuff. There's like three pots, there's like a metal thing, a pile, a pile. They sit in this little gut sometimes. And then they come out here. Like it's probably done now because uh, usually after I've caught a, a big one, it, it's like they're like, we're out of here. That was every bit of three and a half. Next. Get the net, do the pole, get the net, just net him with the pole. Thank you. Oh, that's a large mouth. No! No! That's not a 15 incher. Please be 15, you look long and lean. You're 14 and a half all day. Why are you a largemouth? What is wrong with you? Get him out. Thank you. What did you think of your drop shot experience? Was it everything you hoped it would do? I don't know what I'm doing, so. You're not, you're just dropping it down there. Hope it wasn't easy. that one. I have not fished this this week. I literally saw it when I pulled up there and it had all the right stuff on it. That's three all day long, baby. right now, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to run back and fish by the launch ramp for 15 minutes. Motor's not starting. Motor won't start. I have no idea what that could even be. Hey, Mark, I'm here. I got a camera boat with me, and my motor on my last spot won't uh, start. Can I ride in with the uh, my camera boat? I can't ride with you guys. I gotta get in the middle and slide down somewhere. Here, pull that net in here. I gotta get out in the middle of the river. Why would I stop on that stupid stretch? Why on the last stop? Why did I stop? That's it.
There you go. I'm ready. Get your, you got your fish ready? Mark, this is Scott. I'm with uh, Matt Fanger. Uh, yes, sir. Can we leave the boat on spot lock? I broke down my motor one start. Can I get a ride it's in? It's on spot lock. It's going to be like on the edge of the bank. Okay. No, as long as it's on the bank and the poles are down, you're good. All right. All right, we'll just stay here till you come back and get us, right? Yeah, go take it and put it on the bank. Hop in it, you're allowed to, I just checked. But we need to stay with him. He can't leave all his fishing stuff here on the... I mean, this is Kentucky. I love it, but somebody... It's, pipe, but it's already... They're already turned to open. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock right now. This... I don't know if they'll make it. I don't know. I tell you, they better haul ass. They better do all they can do and then some. Yeah. Up at Ramsey Point. The guy we was following, his boat tore up. He wouldn't start back. And they're posting somebody from it. He actually does a weekly show in his back room called Bass Talk Live. Well, man, he fishes hard. I mean, like a machine. They actually made it back with a few minutes to spare. I don't see how they had to haul it, son. Baby. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing is still running. Well, we are uh, done with the weigh-in. <coughs> There's a little adventure that the boat went on that I wasn't at. You're a trooper for fishing tomorrow. Yeah. Third place. $20,000 check. Some Costa cards. Had 11, 14, and four fish today. Upshaw smashed them. Uh, 150 grand so he apparently likes smallmouth in Tennessee all right I gotta go pick up the girlfriend at the Nashville airport and then uh, I don't know what the deal is all right so here's the game plan we are about an hour and a half out of Nashville the girlfriend flew into the Nashville airport because she's awesome and is going to drive me back to Oklahoma because I have a Bass Nation tournament tomorrow that starts at 6.30 a.m. on Keystone to make the state team. I got the boat back, everything's good. I think it's like a shift actuator thing, a small fix, but it actually turned over after it set for a while. I made it back in. I got a $20,000 check in my little sun shield thing. And now I'm stopping to get gas and I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank anything at all, all day. I'm still pretty jacked up. So that was cool. Third place, I'll take it. Didn't lose any fish. 
no regrets. All right, well, we made it to the Nashville airport. Kinder. Nice enough to uh, fly in so I can make my tournament on Keystone Lake. Oh, look at this fancy backing up maneuver. How was your flight? Good. You sat next to a lady who cried the whole time? No, down there she was crying. In the airport? Yeah. And then it was awkward. Look what I got. And that's cool. You would think they're... Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. It's a trophy. I'll, like, I guess, yeah. First or second should get the big ones, right? Next time. It is exactly 12 hours after leaving Lake Cumberland. I'm now on the water on Keystone for the final Bass Nation qualifier. I got finished in the top 10 to make the state team. Motor's doing that again. So I'm on the trolling motor all day. There's number one. There's number two. I can't believe this is happening. My trolling motor batteries are now dead. It is 9.30. Now I'm shaking. I caught a limit. I have not moved. It is the exact same spot. These last two days have just been super stressful. We should know by the time I get back in if I did enough. It's unbelievable. 